Yeah, terrible. You never want to see anybody get hurt, um, especially someone who's put in all the work and time and does everything the right way like Tyler does. You know, we all feel for him. You know, the whole program feels for him. I think when your starting quarterback gets hurt, you know, everybody rallies around that. Um, we got a great team of doctors, medical staff. The support's been unbelievable for him. Um, I know he's doing well, and uh, we'll continue to support him and be there for him. And I know he'll attack his recovery and be ready uh, as quickly as he can. Drew's care factor is about as high as anyone you can be around. And, you know, I told Drew, we're in a tough spot right now, and obviously we're, we feel for Tyler, but we think, you know, Drew's the perfect guy right now, you know, for this opportunity. And uh, he's got high energy, high care factor. He knows the playbook. He has the respect to his teammates. And, you know, we don't expect, you know, anything less than that from Drew, and he expects that of himself. And, you know, he's prepared himself for this for a long time, so we trust him. I think every position, there are very specific details of our job that we need to focus on. And, you know, there's old sayings about, you know, the small things make the big things happen, and that couldn't be more true right now for our group. So, whether it's the quarterback, the right guard, the tight end, whoever it is, you know, we're focusing on us and focusing on the details of our position. You know, for Drew and Steve, like, owning the offense and, and walking in that huddle, you know, with a demeanor that guys are going to rally around, walking up to the line of scrimmage with a demeanor that guys are going to feed off of, like, every single detail matters right now. And that's what we're har harping on for all 11. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you'd hope you have a vision and you go out to execute it and plan better. But, look, it all starts with me. Um, you know, I got to be better. I got to give our guys a better opportunity to succeed. I got to do more to make sure that everybody knows what's expected and what we're trying to accomplish. Um, you know, you're around this game long enough. I don't think surprise is the right word. But, you know, we're extremely driven to make sure that we fix it. Yeah, we got to continue to find ways to get guys that, you know, we think can, can help our offense be more explosive touches. And, you know, Chris certainly falls under that category. And, you know, myself, Coach McCullough, we're working tirelessly to make sure that he's in a position to have success. Yeah, I think all three guys can do just about anything we want them to. I think certain guys do certain things at a, at a better level than the other, right? And that can come in different shapes and sizes. Um, you know, we have three backs that we feel like we can win with, and we're going to continue to find ways to, to make that happen. Yeah. I mean, certainly nothing replicates game experience. I mean, there's no secret to that. Um, there's certainly strides that you can make. You know, when you're removed from playing for that long and extended of a time, you really start to look at the game from a different vantage point. And the challenge for him is to be able to grow as much without being on the field. And you're going to take, be able to take a step back, look at it from a different way. And there's certainly ways to grow and, and learn and become better from doing that as well. Look, I think any time you play this game, the margin between wins and losses are very small. I mean, you can have a number of loss, uh, wins that get masked because you won the game. And you can turn on the film, and there's probably two or three plays that bounce differently that lead to wins versus losses. Um, you know, I certainly think it's just going to continue to drive the group, motivate the group, but we have motivated guys no matter what. And so if you're looking for a silver lining, I think, you know, it's not taking things for granted and understanding playing and play out how important it is that all 11, all coaches, all members of our program do their job, you know, every opportunity we have. And, you know, again, you can't take any play for granted. And you learn that pretty quickly when you get humble.